Hello, Osaka fan. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Easter is just around the corner, so today I am going to share with you my recipe for our Jamaican Easter bun. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get baking. These are all the ingredients that we are going to use to make our Easter bun. The exact amount will be listed in the description bar below. We have our all-purpose flour, some mixed fruits with raisins, brown sugar, eggs, molasses, some bitters, some Guinness stout, honey, allspice, cinnamon, baking powder and baking soda, salt, nutmeg, ginger, and butter. Before we get started, I'm just going to melt the butter so this way it gets a little time to cool down before I use it. So let's get started. I'm going to crack my eggs. I'm just beating this egg up and that's going to sit there. Okay. Now we can start mixing our ingredients together. Okay. So sugar is here. Then we add some honey. So molasses. So what you want to do is just mix all your sugar together. Put that in here. Get every little bit out of that. Gonna mix that up. Next, I'm gonna add some butter to that, and that's gonna help to dissolve the sugar too. Mix that all in. So it's getting all nice and soft and cream together. Just mix that up until your sugar is really soft, comes to a paste. Now we can put some eggs in there. And we just add that in. And stir. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm just going to put my extracts in there. And the next step is our guineas. We're going to mix that in. Now I'm just going to leave this to the side. And now we do our dry ingredients. Now mix in our baking powder and baking soda mixture goes in here. Next, we put some salt, brown ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, and allspice. So I'm just mixing this all together. So you just want to make sure everything is blended nicely together. All in here and that looks good so now we can start mixing our dry to our wet ingredients and that's it here so what I'm gonna do is just slowly I'm gonna fold this in I'm just going to change and use this little whisk. An Easter bun, some people call spice bun, and this is a traditional Jamaican Easter treat. And you would usually have this with um, cheddar. So you can just put some cheddar on a piece of that and you have it. Or you can add um, butter, or you can just eat it plain but it's a very, very 
nice spicy cake some of the other islands they make this as well but they don't call it uh, Easter bun they call it spice cake I grew up making this but we didn't call it Easter bun we call it spice cake so now I'm just switching again and what I'm gonna do is just hold this in Holding it until it's all blended together. Looks like it's done now. Last step is our fruit. We're just going to add the fruits in. And you just want to make sure your flour is well blended. So I have my mixed fruit with some raisins. And you just put that in. That's all there is to it. So now I'm just going to go and grease the pan and put my oven on as you're going to bake this at uh, 350. That smells so good. All those um, spices. <laughs> This is the finishing touch. We're just going to decorate it. So it looks really pretty on the top. And I'm just using these candied cherries. I'm just going to set this aside until my oven is ready and then we'll put it in. And our oven is ready and Time to put our Easter bun in, and we will, that's it. Now we are going to make a simple syrup to go on top of our Easter bun. I'm going to add a third of a cup of white sugar, third of a cup of water, equal parts of sugar to equal parts of water. So you're just going to pour that in there. And we turn the stove on and we're going to mix that and just let the sugar dissolve. So you want to just mix this and let it boil until the sugar is completely dissolved. And then you take it off the stove. You don't want to leave it on too long because you don't want the sugar to caramelize. And that's ready now. You can see it's all dissolved. I just took this out of the oven. And as you can see, I did have little foil at the corners. This is to prevent it from burning. It did take just a little over, about an hour and 10 minutes to bake. And you can see when I put this in the middle, it's clean. So that's how I know. It's ready. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off and just bring it over here. And now I'm gonna add my syrup on top. So I'm just gonna put this on there. This gives it, makes it look really pretty, like kind of a glaze on the top. But also that little syrupy flavor, which is really nice. And that's it. That's that's all there is to it. We're gonna let it cool. Okay, let's try our Easter bun. Look at that. Oh, so nice. And I have it with some white cheddar. Mmm. Mm, that is so good. It's still a little warm, but it's good. Mm -hmm. That's good, guys. Try this for Easter. And you know, you don't have to just have it at Easter time. You can have it any time. It's a delicious cake. I'm going to finish the whole thing. And there you have it, our delicious Jamaican-style Easter bun. Mm -hmm.
Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again next time. Have a happy, happy Easter.